STEM camp, we are a, a summer day camp based on science, technology, engineering and math. And one of our focuses is trying to make sure that more girls uh, at a young age are exposed to STEM activities and that they may uh, eventually realize it's a great career choice for them. So we have partnered with Mattel because uh, with uh, Barbie, one of the things they're focusing on is trying to let girls know that they can be anything they want. So this year is the 60th anniversary of Barbie and uh, they've decided to pick Astronaut Barbie as uh, the Barbie for our event today. And uh, later this morning, we're actually going to launch uh, Barbie into space. So we were do using this event to just try and make sure girls realize that STEM is not a boy f thing. There are a lot of uh, STEM jobs out there that are going unfilled because we don't have capable people uh, f uh, filling them. And if we can expose all young people to STEM uh, activities and realize that it's a great career choice at a young age, that uh, it can really help Canada's economy and grow as a, as a country. So, start, uh, and focusing on girls, because uh, we feel it's a real untapped resource, that there are a lot of girls that don't realize that STEM is a great uh, career choice to go into and that they can uh, find that as a, something to inspire them. It's going to be actually the first time in the world that Barbie will be launched into space. So today we're going to be launching Barbie to just shy of 40 kilometers above the Earth. Now the gateway to near space is the Armstrong limit. That's at 19.2 kilometers. We're going to go to nearly twice that height. At this point you'll be able to see the blackness of space, the curvature of the Earth and the thin blue line of the atmosphere. Now we have a custom designed payload that's been put together specifically to present Barbie in a beautiful fashion in front of this lovely viscera of the earth. That's going to contain all our tracking systems, our recording equipment, it's going to contain our cameras most importantly which is going to get that fantastic visual that we can't wait to get back to the kids. It's, it's comparable perhaps to, um, to Red Bull Stratos flight where the Felix Baumgartner went on his voyage and, and did the, the epic jump from the edge of space. We're going to try and beat his height today of every confidence that we can do that. As the balloon progresses through the atmosphere, the, the, the reducing uh, pressure, air pressure around it, causes the balloon to expand. By the time it reaches peak altitude, it'll be the size of a house. It'll be about 25 meters in diameter. That's the point at which it bursts and our parachute deployment systems come into effect, bring our parachute, uh, our payload safely down to earth. Now at the start of the re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere, we're gonna see very fast speeds. Bobby will be traveling around 250 miles per hour. Now rest assured she'll slow down nice and gently as, uh, as our parachute comes into effect in the lower portions of the atmosphere in the troposphere which is where our weather systems are. So we run simulations to know exactly where she's going to come down. She's going to go northwest of London into a nice field uh, and our chase down crew will be ready on hand ready to receive her.